my project is all about books, I thought I'd start out with a joke. Yay. <laughs> like that? Yeah. There we go. So, my joke is, a duck walks into a library and asks the librarian, can I please have a cheeseburger, fries, and coke? The librarian says, Mr. Duck, this is a library. Whoops, the duck says, I like a cheeseburger, fries, and a coke. Thank you. Joke courtesy of my dad. I want to say thank you, Jig Sit Institute, for valuing student voice. I am so excited to be here at this event, and especially to share my lipstick story with all of you. Did you know that when you share your story, you can change the world? I started my project Lip Bitch to inspire other people, especially kids, to share their thinking. At first, I just talked about reading, but now I talk about life and other things I think people will be inspired by. Each week, I make short videos that share my thinking. Lip Bits are videos that are a little bit of me, Liv, and a little bit of my thinking, Bits. You have to put it all together and you have Lip Bits. And if you didn't already know, I have a catchphrase. Keep reading, keep thinking, and keep watching Lip Bits for more ideas about your books, and sometimes life. And guess what? This is my two year anniversary of when I created Lip Bits. In just two short years, I have shared my story with the world. I have a website where I post my videos and where I blog about my work. Kids can do a lot of important work for the world when they are given a chance. I like to think of myself as a word activist. I love words. A book activist. I love books. And just a plain old activist. I love to speak up and help others understand how important words and books are for everyone. Being an activist means I think bigger than the things that are important to me. It means I'm thinking about what is important for the world. I think kids can teach the world so much. The world needs to remember that kids have opinions that matter. We have desires to help the world. And we have dreams that are so big, no wall could ever keep them from reaching people's hearts. <laughs> Grown-ups need to remember that kids can teach us. I'm standing here today because I'm a connected learner. In the last year, I visited 19 different states and spoken to over 50,000 teachers, administrators, and kids. Out of all of the states I've been to, I've been to Texas the most. Here's a picture of me in Dallas, Texas a few weeks ago at the Highland Park Schools. When I say connected, I don't just mean on social media. Even though I use different social media platforms to share my message, I also use apps that connect me to the world, like Seesaw, Flipgrid, and Padlet. All of these connections help me reach a wider audience. I can now say that I am an international speaker. So thanks to Jennifer Cassatine, my, my Heartbeat Social Media, and my mom, and the DigSit Summit in Canada. Thank you so much. I'm now international. Oh, yeah. A few weeks ago, I was a speaker at the Teachers College Reading and Writing Activist Weekend. And I met Mary Staff, a Marriott staff developer there. She reminded us how powerful artists, poets, and songwriters can be to lift our stories. I want to share a little story with all of you from a school visit I just did in Marion, Ohio. When I was finished with my keynote to the 500 kids, the principal told me that they had a surprise for me. And I have to be 100% honest, I thought it was a box of Pop-Tarts. Lots of schools give me Pop-Tarts. I know that my mom 
doesn't really like it that everybody knows so that's my favorite junk food. And teachers always spoil me with them. But this isn't what happened in Ohio, but something really amazing did happen. Before I knew it, the entire school was singing one of my favorite songs from The Greatest Showman, This Is Me. Here's a little clip of them singing. questions in class. 
They would walk away from me on the playground when they saw me coming. And they would start a telephone chain at the lunch table. And be with me here, lived a loser. They told other kids not to be friends with me. It took me a long time to tell adults what was happening. And then when I did, it took a long time for things to change. Looking back, it was one of the most unhappiest times of my whole life. And those girls took away a lot of my confidence. But that's when I started this special project that helped me get my voice back. The bullying series, the bullying series was actually one of the hardest videos to make. And the bullying series was actually one of the first lip bits I made back when I was eight years old. Ah, this is a lip and lip bits. Oh no! This lip and bit is going to be in parts. It took me a long time to gather all the courage to make this lip bit. This is my lip bit. Camilla. 
Here's a clip of where she talks about how she creates her characters. Hi, Kate. Thanks so much for calling into the Kidlet Show. I'm so excited to be here. So, how do you get your ideas for your characters? You know, it's funny because I get asked that question a lot and I never have a really good answer and sometimes I'll make a joke and say that I eavesdrop a lot and it's actually not too much of a joke. I do eavesdrop a lot even though it's not considered polite. Um, but I like to look at people and listen to them and none of those people that I look at or listen to become characters but they kind of inform how uh, I see humanity, you know, and so I think that a lot of the stories come from paying attention to people and um, I never really feel like I make up a character because people, that's another question that people ask me, how do you develop a character? It's like, I don't know, because I feel like more like they're real people that I discover kind of feel things are real to me. I just love how Kate taught me about how to think more deeply about the idea of humanity. And really, and maybe that's really what being an activist is all about. Just what Kate said. Paying attention to people. Discovering new things about them. Realizing how important everyone is to this world helps us see humanity. And finally, be for humanity. Try to think about other people's needs. Try to remember how colorful and interesting the world is because we are all different. Think about what Kate DiCamillo said. And notice more, care more, and just be more. Here are my friends from Texas telling the world what my message meant to them. Hi, I'm Anania. And I'm Claire. We're from Frisco, Texas. I love that Liv said that you can follow your own dreams and passion. And I love that Liv said that children can teach uh, adults. Thanks, Liv! <laughs> A few months ago, I was at Washington Elementary School in Dublin, Ohio, and I met Miriam, and she told me this. Hi, I'm Miriam, and from Dublin, Ohio, and when I first watched Liz Fitz, at first I hated reading, but when I watched Liz Fitz, she inspired me to love reading, and now it's my favorite thing. Thanks, Liz. See how powerful words are? I will never, ever forget Washington Elementary School because of those special words from Miriam. A few weeks ago, I met a really special friend, Jorge, in Dallas, Texas, and he shared this with me. Hi, Liv. My name is Jorge. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I think, I like how you talked about stereotypes. I think it's a really big problem in this world, and I don't like how people criticize people by the color of their skin. I think that it's a big problem and we should help out. Thanks, Liv. I think it's really powerful when I hear what the kids are thinking after they hear my keynote. So thank you, Jorge, for your incredible thinking. Remember, sharing, some, sharing something you love with others means your message will live on through others. The Fix has been the best project I've done in my whole entire life. <laughs> my LitBit work started as a chance for me to grow my thinking, sharing, and reading, but it also grew my heart. I have learned how to be a good digital citizen from this work. I hope if there's one thing that sticks with you from my talk, it's that it's always better to love each other than judge each other, and that you have heart beaks that are meant for the world, and I hope you will share them. When I was working with kids in Hinsdale, Massachusetts recently, a student asked me how it felt to be famous. And I told him, I am not famous. I am global. So, let's be global together. Are you with me? Yes. Come on, one more thing. Your story matters to the world. Share your story with others and be willing to learn from other people. Connect your dots to places you never dreamed possible and become a digital beam of light that connects in positive ways to others. So, what can we do to be like me? Read a lot. Definitely talk a lot. Share your thinking a lot. Ask a lot of questions. And be for digital good. If you can do all of those things, then you can change the world. 
And grown-ups, kids need you to believe in them. Please believe in them. Help them spread heartbeats and help them love the world. Help them become who they're meant to be. And be the grown-up they will never forget because you showed them hope and love. The world needs more hope and love. Keep reading, keep thinking, and keep watching with this for more ideas about your books and your world. Thank you, everybody.